Do you hear the sound of dripping water? It's because it's Cave O'Clock! We're continuing our playthrough of Colossal Cave! Wow! I'm Sean Plot. And I'm Lee Grainer. You're and welcome. I'm still Gary from Gary, Indiana, uh, filling in for Sean Bouchard. Yet another week. Not going anywhere anytime soon. Just sticking around. And neither are we three. We're back with mostly walking as we continue to delve into the cave. And, uh... <sighs> We did a lot of conversing before we actually went on camera. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of talk about a clue that was given to us. The clue in context, we must first go to the loading and say, here is, where is, it was on 9-11 was the last time we played. Okay, here, here it is, the steep incline. When we were last playing this game, we had is effectively explored every single room. If we actually go to the map, we can see that in the troll area, there's no place that we have yet to explore. We don't see any branching paths off. And this game actually like really diligently would like show an arrow and have it be not labeled if we couldn't get anywhere. And so, yeah. you know, we were just spending time looking and looking and looking and looking and we just couldn't see anything. There was one path here that we hadn't explored, but we cleared that one out. And suddenly we were at this kind of impasse of like, well, what do we want to want to do? There's a few interactables mm. that we can interact with. Here's where we left all of our garbage and the maze different. Um, we tried to There's blow. There's a bird room. Yeah, we tried to make the plover noise in the um Nova. magnificent cavern i mean maybe we should try to jump into the whirlpool who knows we'll, we'll find out well, what happens we can try there. that yeah um but we just we've kind of explored everything <gasps> bless you lee and so okay. we got the following clue which is uh when in doubt Ugh. read the instructions mm. i i think it was actually if you at first you don't succeed. Oh, if at first you don't succeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I am misquoting. And actually what I'm doing is I'm just kind of melting some different sort of straightforward ideas together. Yeah. Um, I, so, thought the, I thought the clue was iterate. <laughs> it's finished. That was the clue. <laughs> Hurry. A, throw, a throwback to a conversation that if you're on YouTube right now, you missed you out. Didn't get it. Completely oh, missed man. out on it. Bummer. But so, so I, I want to share some of the notables, which is that in the plover room, we had to drop everything, which is why there's so much stuff here. And here is the dark room that we can't see within, but we have the ability to teleport out of the plover room to somewhere, but we're in pitch darkness because, again, we didn't have our lantern with us. And we don't know where to go to teleport back in here with the lantern. That's one thing that we can do. We also... Um, Yeah, I don't think we've explored down here super thoroughly. Maybe there's something over here. We did punch a dragon, which was sweet. In this reservoir, yeah. there's a boat that is not ours. Yeah, and the game is very insistent about the fact that it's not ours. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> and like, sorry, there... everyone, I've broken. <laughs> sorry, uh -oh. just continue oh, no. going. Oh, Lee, oh no, Lee. Lee, Lee, can you make the plover noise? Maybe you'll teleport to where you need to go. <laughs> you know. Plover noise. <laughs> There's also I, this this bear that's in here that we said we'll come back to the bear because there's a locked bear and we need to placate the bear by giving him a, a stack of meat, which we successfully bear. did. <laughs> but we need to unlock Who the bear to the get bear? the golden chain. And, the bear. and I mean, like, as you're seeing here, there's just like a bunch of stuff. So when I heard that, I was like, maybe I should go to the well house Jesus. and listen to the instructions again. Like, I don't know. Um, and... Sean Lee, if either of you have any ideas of what to do next, I would be well, thrilled. Well, okay, I, here I just want to point this out because you were you you started this yes. as you opened the game or you had the game open on the title screen. Yeah, and you said first we have to load up our game. Yeah, but I couldn't help but notice that on that title screen, the third option down or for the the fifth option down is help, and it's glowing and like pulsing. It's the it's the biggest yeah, most neon help I've ever seen. I, like I think maybe it needs help. Like it it needs us to help it. All right. Maybe. All right. Oh, look! It's saying help. It's saying like please no help. No way. 
I don't know how to read. No, I like uh, the, 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 the frequency of a gamer looking at text and noticing anything. I didn't even notice. Oh, this is help. Okay. Help. Okay, so sprint. All right, menu. Here's use. Okay. Oh, this is, I, I still love that there's full motion video, man. This is really nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. What's going on? Is, is it visualizing the ball of the trackpad, of the, of the mouse, like? Yeah, what's happening? But this mouse has an <laughs> eye. This is like a Lovecraftian <laughs> mouse. The cursor is important. The door is closed. I have somehow set my camera to shitty mode. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. My my brain was set to that shortly before streaming. <laughs> well, apparently I'm in a horror movie now, so pray for. Pray so for I mean, I feel like I know all this, but maybe I'm not. Hello. IQ opens inventory. Opens the game. Okay, wait, okay. Oh, this is all of these. What? Okay, okay, okay. I see. Were we told at the beginning of the game, like, what specifically our goal was? I believe it is to get 351 points. Right, right. Oh, that restarts it. I see. <laughs> Pyroskank said, Lee, whatever you do, don't sneak off to make out in a closet. And because I have wandering brain syndrome, <laughs> first I thought, what is that apropos of? And then I thought, that actually sounds cool, but oh, I guess I better not do it. You were instructed specifically not to do it. It's very so, like, uh, yeah, it's very ironic. I, I'm gonna go to new game because I'm I'm, I'm trying yeah, to see let's maybe see what happens. Maybe there's something at the very outset. Okay, take instructions will cost you five points. Will allow you to spend more exploration time because your lamplight will last more than twice as long. Yeah, oh, the this instructions. is instruction. So they actually mean like they mean clues. Or no, they mean possibly. If you like instructions. This is like this is like if you want this game feature, you're going to need to pay points. Well, wait I, a minute. I mean, I think we should take instructions because specifically the thing that we are trying to do right now is listen to the instructions. Yeah. Somewhere nearby is Colossal Cave where others have found fortunes and treasure and gold. It is rumored that some who enter hmm. are never to be seen again. And magic is okay. said to permeate the cave. I know of places, actions, and things. Take me with you, and I will be your eyes and... Keep <laughs> watch on your compass. Keep Same. watch on your compass. This motherfucker knows now. It will through back the cave. Of, back, back I know of a few special objects. Such as a black rod hidden in the cave. Black rod. Take these objects and carry them in your inventory, which will show you the items you're carrying. Some objects huh. have side effects. For instance, the rod scares the bird. And usually, people unsuccessfully manipulating an object are attempting something beyond their or my capabilities, and should try a different tack. So, it like, sounds like a new window. <laughs> <laughs> the rod, rod scares the bird. Frightens the bird. <laughs> so the flower I, collapses. This is one of the. I think this is this is only really embodied in multiplayer games nowadays. The idea in a game that from the very start of the game there are clues and hints and bits of information you need to pick up on, and it was a super popular thing in old text-driven adventures. Uh, I remember when when. Okay, so you know how when you like get a PlayStation, it comes with like PlayStation games. Back in yeah. my day, we got a yeah. we got a sound blaster because most computers didn't Ugh. have any oh, audio yeah. at all, right? So we got speakers, yes. 
We had a computer for years with no speakers. We finally got the speakers, at which point we had a whole bunch of games and it came with the text adventure bundle. And in that text adventure bundle was Zork 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and Zork 0. Um, I don't know why I felt the need to include that. But in, in those games, it was super common to play through it. And then once you played a bit, you would go back and look at the instructions and then you'd go, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> so, yeah. so this says, I know of a few special objects, such as a black rod hidden in the cave. We left that rod in the room, in the in the maze room, where there was all the passages that reconnected to each other. Oh, yeah, we did. Spare That's the on the rod, ground. Spoil the room. And I don't think we ever found a reason for the rod. Okay. Well, we Taking we used something else to scare the bird, over. didn't we? We just, uh, and realized that exiting yeah. one room to the north does not always guarantee entering the next from the south. And just because you mm. enter a room one time without issue does not mean that you won't be rechanneled elsewhere the next. To get full oh, credit for a treasure, you must leave actually. it safely in the little building. Though you do get That's partial crucial. credit for just locating oh, the treasure. Points get lost there for getting go. killed or for quitting, though the former costs you more. Also, points are based on how much of the cave you've managed to explore. There is a large bonus just for penetrating the deeper cave, distinguishing the beginners from the rest of the pack. Okay. Well, see, now, now, now we actually have more context for everything that happens in the game. Yeah. There are other ways to determine whether you've survived some of the more harrowing sections. And if you think you've found all the treasures, just keep exploring for a while. There's more to discover. Occasionally, <laughs> I may offer around. hints if you seem to be having trouble. If I do, I'll warn you in advance how much it will cost your score to accept the hints. Good right. luck. Good luck. This guy sounds like he's like one of those guys who like leaves a message on your phone who's like, I don't like playing around games, so if you text me back by 5 p.m. tomorrow, I'll know you're interested. But if you don't, then you might as well throw away my number. I, I Maybe that's like a poll that no one understands. Wait, sorry, sorry. I was reading this thing about maps, because like... So yeah, we're, we were using map one. Now I just we can start a new game still using map one, or yeah. we can use a different map. So I'm, I'm going to do an interesting uh, system. Three. Which is this such a chaotic like choice. An insurance plan. So I just also, want to double check like there was nothing so out here. Vivaldi. I think it literally is Vivaldi. Oh, is it? Yeah, I mean. All right, Where it's like pastoral, but also weird enough that in the 1800s they'd be shooketh. I think the game is is still loading stuff in because I'm getting some like frame drops that I didn't get here before. Herbivore? Okay, so like this is where we were supposed to actually drop off all the stuff. And I realize now. Huh. There are some keys on the ground here. Okay, so with with this information that we have we have recently gained. What should we do? Should we like go back to our old load and keep digging in there? Go back to the old load, Sean, and then I dig mean, into it. I mean, so here's the question: Have we somehow expended an inventory item that would be useful to us? Like, for example, that plate of food, a building, a well which we could a give to spring. a bear. Uh, what what the hell Bottom happened to our plate of food in the last? playthrough yeah so th this food we gave to the bear oh we did oh okay. yeah and that calmed him down enough to be able to like <laughs> walk up to him so like right away here's, ah. here, here's something that i want to do i want to actually load and i want to go back to the steep incline where we were at before mm -hmm. and i now know that one of the thing oh, one of the things that we were told to do was to try to get things back out to the house yeah but we, we, it was hard to do that because we couldn't carry them up the hill, right? That's right. So, like, that's clearly one but of the But maybe we could, we could zizzy them out? Zizzy. Yeah, when, when were we actually able to use zizzy? That, okay. I think game, where we found very it. It's unclear. Uh, all I know, okay, as a clue for that... In RTMI, you can use Zizzy 
in certain areas, but not others. I don't know if that's how it functions in the OG here. Yeah, I do. Th I do think that we we were awfully confused about it at first, but I I do think that it will take you from the Zizzy room to the boathouse or the well house or whatever, and vice versa. Which is why I think that that's how the plover also works. Yeah. Push. You oh, don't shit. instantly die. Holy There's a shit. way to not there instantly die. There's a jewel die. encrusted trident here. Fucking trident. What? You're in a magnificent I mean, jewel cavern. Like jewel Jeweled trident. Tryhard. Persian rug. Batteries. What? Persian batteries. Persian batteries. Persian trident. Jeweled rug. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I just need to, like, pay attention more. Dude, I actually called my mom and asked her about this. And she's like, wait, really? uh, I mean, like, literally, it, it was like I was listening to an exorcism. It was incredible. She's like, I have not thought about that game in 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> she's, Whoa. No, 45 years. Yeah, because she's 67 and uh, played in college. And so when, when I was talking to her, she was just like, she was like, you need batteries and there's a, a dragon you punch and if you uh, water the beanstalk <laughs> twice it gets tall I'm like no no I've done all that she's like I'm trying to remember <laughs> so I just oh and I remember there was one thing that she said that now that I'm saying it out loud I remember now there was a clam there was a clam once there I mean, was yeah. a clam one of my favorite books um, there it a is. Very strange, enchanted clam. So wait, this is the junction. Oh, that's not bad. This is to troll. So if we descend down here, we should be able to work our way to clam. And maybe with with a trident, we can unjam that clam. Unjam the clam with the unjam trident. The unjam the clam. Unjam the clam. So if my like your mama said. See if we can uh we'll see if we can get inside that clam. Let's get in there. <laughs> get that pearl. Just so all of you know, we've peaked in maturity. It yeah, actually it doesn't get it. much higher than, than we've <laughs> ever been. You must become more mature. You must. Um this stupid little light actually doesn't look bad, does it? Lee, yeah, actually that looks great. It's uh, yeah. It's this thing. I just got this on online. It's like a little light bar. No, I mean oh, like nice. it's light bar. The cool thing is that you can set like different uh, temperatures and stuff in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. No, it, the lighting is both really nice, but because it's hitting you and not the background, there's that extreme contrast. It's almost yeah. like um, if uh, the Blair Witch Project was streamed through TikTok. Like it's just really oh. high quality and and. Yes. Very like Gonzo perspective. Gonzo perspective. You know, the Gonzo perspective is probably very twisted in South Park. <laughs> um, I so am weird. light. I can light the world. So this is the soft room, but where's the, what's the name of the place that I we're like trying to get Danny to? I like Elfman kind of like talks Bed things room? through all of like uh, fucking, um, what's it called? Uh, Halloween December film. Uh, Nightmare? Yeah, I love the talk singing where it's just like, what have I become? I know, it's really Who good. I, I went be? to um, I went to Disneyland last weekend and came home and I was like, I gotta watch Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas. Yes. This is a, it's a good movie. What's this? This magic in the air. What's this? Yeah, I watched that not long ago, like maybe two weeks ago as well. It's so good. It's also the perfect example of that creative sophomore slump that we talked about, where he's Halloween man, and then he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna retire and do Christmas. There is an enormous clam here. Its shell is tightly closed. It is too big and heavy. I think you need to coax the clam. 
What? No. The jewel <laughs> trident magically opens Holy the Holy shit! A glistening pearl falls out and rolls oh, away. Oh, fuck. Pearl. Goodness. A glistening pearl? This is pearl? really an oyster. But whatever it is, it is now snapped shut. Ah, uh, shit. Oh my god. Fucking around. Well, Don't that was... Cost that was... Uh, that was an interesting little diversion, just sort of like... That was easy. Go down. People don't always understand that with my neurotype. This is an old coral doing passage. Random it's now nonsense. blocked by debris. <laughs> this is focus. <laughs> a so, okay, you know how parent you know Go ahead. So I'm I'm thinking that we try to figure out a way to leave with this stuff. Right? Let's That's do what it. I was thinking. So how do we get the hell out of here? I think I think head back towards the cave entrance. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how the hell we do that. Is it up? And then you haul the mountain. Lauren says, I like how it's not that you pry open the clam with the trident, it just magically opens. You magically yeah. and non-violently open the clam. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, you just show it, you whip out your trident and the clam just... <laughs> <laughs> Just completely based on its own, you know, uh, autonomic response. Yep. Unhinges. And we go up again? Yeah, Hall of the Mountain King. Oh, yeah, because this is where we go to Y2. And where does Y2 take us? I, we... We worked really hard to get to Y2. And then I don't remember it being all that... Great. <laughs> oh wait. Because <laughs> yeah, here's here's why too. Harsh review of a. It's a harsh review of, of, of a, why too. Of a of a room <laughs> of the only letter numbered room. This is it, us for like, sure. That I do. That is amazing. That is maybe my favorite. Speak, speaking of unhinged. Game. Speaking of unhinged. Why is there one room that has a letter and a number? Glistening. Hello. What was that? Clue. That was creepy. That was. You feel blue. a strange pulling sensation. Okay. No. No. See if you're purring. Where did Blue take us? You're back in the well house. No fucking oh, shit. way. Okay, wait, hold on. Hey, Here we fucking purr. are. Oh my god! I just placed it, and I got twenty fucking points. Hell yeah. Holy shit! Can take, the can you take it back? Minus fourteen. Listen, minus pearl. fourteen. Plus fourteen. Uh, Holy! Oh, that's so sick. Jeweled oh, okay. Trident. So the game has a, has a purpose. Trident. We're trying to get the. We're trying to get the treasure. Oh so my god! Listen carefully. You may be hearing Alaski. No wonder they told me to read the instructions. Dwarf axe, egg-sized <laughs> emerald, Persian rug. Oh my god, I got 124 fucking points! Holy oh shit, god. I'm so sick! <laughs> Plue. Plue. Oh my god! You feel a strange pulling sensation. I can't believe we need wait, to wait, wait. Oh, What? Can you go, go back to the well house and try uh, the plover. You're back in the wild. Surely you mean the plover. Plue. Only Here's because I Plue. think that it seems like you feel Plue a strange and Zizzy. Sensation both work the same way and that they take you back to the well house the plover didn't seem to do that but just to be sort of sure you're back in the well house you hear the call of a plover that won't work here apparently that won't work here okay is there anything that needs there's batteries? a funny thing where you know, like dungeon crawls, like even Dungeons and Dragons, you know, it was originally like you're going to the dungeon to defeat the monsters to get the treasure. And then at some point, I guess with our generation, it was more like you're going to have a adventure. Like the purpose Brass, is to have like batteries. Well, you're, you're going batteries. to Brass, get the lantern. treasure in Zizzle. order to defeat Plue. the dragon. Plue. 
is sort of what it turns into. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Yes. Dude, this pulling sensation. No wonder That's No wonder that this is like all over King's Quest, Quest 6. Like, can you imagine how many your times you would have had to dim. read? You're back in the white. I know, right? Your lamp is... My lamp is getting dim? <sighs> but we've been playing for too long. <laughs> the, um... Uh, I was also reminded by somebody on some sort of social media service. I apologize for not remembering who it was. Uh, that um, in Quest for Glory One, there's a you know there's a a bear chained up. There's a chained up bear. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, that's Whoa. just one of the that, that's cave, one of the universal affordances. Like you go bears, into so. a cave and there's a, a, a bear that's he's actually an asshole prince who got turned into a bear and chained up. But you know. Oh, there you go. That let <laughs> that be a lesson. We all want to be princes. So we actually have to go back through this way because we need to go to the maze. Different. So we're at. Oh my gosh, we might be closer to finishing this game than I thought. Yeah, like, we can just get points. Blue. Blue. That blue's scary, blue. dude. Scary blue. Hey, who's that? Actually, you know what? Who is that? Um... Jesus Sir Air Comedy says asshole seem to be mining up there sounds like the premise to a furry fan fiction. No, you know what it sounds like? Another fucking scene from uh, 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 Baldur's Gate 3. Look, I, I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3 yet, but all of you people out there, I see what you're doing. I see what you post <laughs> online, and it's it's all look, in, it's all in Baldur's Gate 3, all of it. Every every last it's one. It's just it's just horny. It's all just horny. <sighs> You gotta stop. You gotta go to jail. <laughs> Horny jail. Stop. Ever, oh, we need God. to stop the internet until we figure some of this out. Got it. So, ha, ha, oh my God, this is a fucking nightmare. Well, I mean, okay. So, we're not gonna score 350 points. Yeah. I mean, is it worth trying to do all of this? Well, let, let's actually count. It, it, was it 14 per? <laughs> At this point, uh, this is a job. I, I couldn't this tell. Is... Did you get 20 at first and then you lose 14 for taking it back? Like, is there a six point you, you got it there bonus? Or was it just you 14 know, uh, every time? Uh, I don't I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> okay. So I, uh, is it full of regret. All this mostly walking. Look, I think. Look, I think if we just back up the truck down here, then we can just pile everything in there. I think we can fit it in as long as we put the heavier stuff in the front. I don't think we're even going to need to put in, uh, you know, like bungee cords or whatever. And then I think we just pull it around the back and go up that way. Oh wait, we go we go west and then east, right? Hold on. I um. And this should take us down. There's a cursed moment that happened when I was designing Leaf Cutters, the ant game. We're fucked. Where the I realized that every every ant activity was like outside of like, Wolf's combat. Act. Every ant activity in my game was just picking something up or putting something down or walking. And then that curse that's a cursed thought because it's it's followed me into so many other areas of my life where I realized that so much is just picking something up or putting something down or walking. And I'm like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Those are the, so those are like, Ooh, treasure hunting. Oh, oh you shit. mean walking underground, picking up a thing, walking back upstairs and putting it down. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's just a gym. It's a, life is one big gym. So, life, life is a series of, con uh, of uh, concentric gyms. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to leave this place with two objects. Okay. Um, I'm going to go northwest to the diamond room. <clears throat> so here's we we should see diamonds. And so we know that it is not down. We know it's not up because we haven't gone there. 
So it's either west or east or north. So I'm going to try to do west. And here I'm going to... Large gold dropping things you're carrying requires a nice, wide, flat place to put them. Large... Yeah? Yeah. That's right. Okay, so... Just like that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go south. So that way south. I can get... And then west. This, south, and then west. Okay, so we go south, grab this, and then we're going to go west, and then we're going to go down. So th so what we're testing right now is how many points do we get from this? Now, before I do that, I need yeah. to count how many treasures were in that room, because this is a very important uh, factoid. You, yeah, I mean, you're, you're accounting for the fact that, like, Different treasures give you a different amount of points, right? Or is that even true? Oh, uh, we don't know. That's what we're trying to measure. So there is one, two, three, okay. four, five ish. Like one, two. I think these are all things that are. Well, good. there's it's five. Just look at the the big ones. One, two, three, four, five. That is literally the <laughs> easier way to go about it. My yeah. God, Mamma Mia. Um, okay, so now what we need to do is we need to say that there's five things in here, and I'm pretty sure that three of these are treasures. All right, so we're just going to go down. Treasure. Treasure. Treasure mint. The treasure of the Dragon Cave. The treasure of the Dragon Cave. Has there, has there been a game that is like this, where you, like a modern game, where you kind of like go back to the start no. a lot? Like, I know that there's... Isn't that how Minute Minute Town Portal? Yeah, how what like, works? I mean, like fucking Diablo, dude. Well, l let me try it again. I mean, oh, like yeah. a game where you go back to the beginning of the entire game and you like play through fresh with like new knowledge repeatedly, as a, a form oh, of like, like beating you, the game. Like state, you go back and. I mean, I think that's generally frowned upon. Yeah, though. that's that's built into Outer Wilds. That's. that's oh yeah, 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 yeah. Outer Wilds. I love that I like rage quit Outer Wilds because I thought it was like incredibly hard. Because the first time I died, it was not clear what had happened to me, and I was like, "This is terrible." Plu, Plu, Plu. You feel a strange Plu, Plu, Plu. So we're at, we're at one twenty four. Do we get any points for simply exiting with these? Find the bejeweled book, Plu. You're back in the well house. Okay. Large gold. Wait, 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 wait. 10. Okay. Several oh, diamonds. Ten. 10. Shit. Dwarf's axe. It's 10. Fuck. Okay, so those are different numbers. Yeah. So there were five things in there, so that would, in theory, get us another 50. So that'd be 204. And you'll recall, I did give two things to the troll. Yeah, you did. Uh... I mean, also, we certainly lost five points for taking instructions. We also resurrected several times. Yeah. I think there was a point penalty for that. Wait, hold Dead on. Batteries. Fuck, fucking wait a minute. Are we going to play Outer Wilds on Mostly Walking ever? Oh, no, no. I, I That game's no. far too scary for me, and I've played it. Yeah, Sean well, refuses to play. I played pretty deep into it, then I watched the rest of it get spoiled. So that way... And I'm tempted to play through it on, like, tame mode, because, like... But even then, it's Is hard, it because, tame? like, I have a fundamental fear of tornadoes, and there's a planet full of tornadoes. There's a, there's a planet full of tornadoes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask why you had a fundamental fear of tornadoes, but then I remember that you're from like the Can land of from kansas, from kansas <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah dude let me tell you like the, tornanzas yeah I'm, I'm from tarzana um sean sean yeah. i i, I want to comfort you by saying you're not in kansas anymore thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you. It's... i i i want to brag about again about the fact that i figured out how to get past the angler fish in that game but i still couldn't pull it off so i went into the fucking source code and disabled them and right, no, that, that is pretty good. Apparently, Unity games ship with their entire source code, <laughs> which is still, still like, wait, like I haven't looked into that with other games, but all of the there was literally like anglerfish.cs or whatever. <laughs> you, yeah. you just 
deleted the entire file? I, uh, no, I... I just took out all the calls to, like, this one function. And then I just, like, I... ran it again. And it fucking I'm... worked. I'm looking at You're a human right now. Near both a valley and a road. <laughs> I don't know... I'd love to see how you did that. Me? Or yeah. To? Yeah, I'm talking it to was, you. Um, I just had to get like a... There was there. like, it, was, it was really stupid. I just like Googled about it and then like I... Uh, and then I... There was some app. I had to like... You hear the call of a plover. I think there was like a, an app I downloaded that was tiny. That There's just, no like, use for that here. Opened the Unity package or some shit. Yeah. Mm. And then like all of the goods were in there and i just ran it and i was like so does this mean that every like unity game you get to be privy to like because like you can like read all the comments and stuff like it's not compiled so so that's weird and, and there's nothing to do with it here yeah i um so i'm trying to figure out what we should do next here because We've clearly gotten half the points. I'm going to go to the debris room and say Zizzy and see what happens. Um, but at this point in time, one of the things that I think we could do is we could go back to the uh, troll. and Because I still feel like what we are doing is researching for the final blitz run. Right, right. I want, That's my understanding. I want 350 points, dude. These 350 points are going to be mine. I, I don't mean to, to to shame. Well, I guess I'm taking humor at your expense here. The Lee. great daft get 69, but <laughs> I did just read the sentence. I like fact tools are in process dev to easier Unity another engine now. Space period. Space period. <laughs> and I don't understand. <laughs> and I look. I read that over and over in my head. Uh, I like it. <laughs> All right, Zizzy. 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 Where does you this feel a strange Zizzy. pulling sensation? Where does this tell Zizzy. 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 Because I think that we can act. Because now I'm 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 starting to slowly piece together that the way this game works. You're back in the well house. Why would I be back in the fucking well house? How does that help me? <sighs> Zizzy. You hear the call of a plover. That is you. Because I, I. Zizzy. Zizzy. I'm pretty sure that what we will have to do. You feel is a strange just like pulling sensation. Carefully. Figure out a course through here. Where we can get all the objects and do things with you the find yourself objects. in the debris room. Um, in an order that allows us to traverse the entire cave system, get all the treasures, and get out. Right. And right. so, the um, the what's his face, the 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 troll that guards the bridge. That dude, we we gave him two things. Yeah, we did. I don't remember what we gave him. What? So... <clears throat> okay. We had a theory at one point... Yeah. ...that we needed to get past him in order to, you know, unlock a... A bear, yeah. ...fucking switchback or something. Right? Like... I My question is, like, is the, is the plover receiver room on the other side of the troll and so if you know that if you have that information then well oh, then it still doesn't make any sense you'd still have to get past the troll i don't know well i'm gonna go i'm gonna go up again and i'm gonna i'm gonna try to start plovering in rooms because i mean I actually think that this would be so much easier Plute. to do. You hear the call of a plover. This would be so much easier to do. That won't work here. Brass lantern. 
You have turned off the lantern. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, okay, you most you... likely fall into a pit. Okay. Dead bat Whoa. brass lan you... the lantern is now wait, lit. Wait, wait. Yeah. Can you just make it can you turn off the lantern, make brass it pitch black, lamp. and you then have use turned the off the lantern? Oh. Does the plover just work where it's completely? It is now dark? pitch dark. Oh my god. You hear the call it's of a not... plover. Oh now it's pitch dark. That is useless right now. Fuck. Okay. Wait, what? This is. I mean, this I, would, is... I mean, I thought I was so clever, but I thought that was you it. Hear the call of a plover. There's nothing to do. Brass lan. Brass. The lantern is now lit. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Huh. I mean, I don't think that this helps, but. Plover eggs um, implied the existence of ploveries. <laughs> God damn. I like my plover eggs. Plover easy. Brass lantern. You have turned off the... It is now pitch dark. You hear the call of a plover. That won't work. <laughs> Brass lantern. The lantern is oh. now lit. Well, what the hell do we do? Ah! Ah! Uh -huh. You won't get it up the stairs. So, um, so Sean Bouchard, uh, is there yeah. a? Now, one thing we can do is we can go to every single room in the yeah. entire game and say Plover. But here's what I'm going to do: uh, Is our right. mod Ghost Stalker here? Ghost Stalker yeah. is around. Because he, he, here is a here is a type of uh, assistance that Ghosty has helped us with. Hello, Ghosty. It's good to see you. Um, is there any chance I could kindly request? I'm trying to think of how to say this. Can you? I, I'm 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 going to tell you what I want, and then I'm going <laughs> to tell you how I want it delivered. <laughs> this is really starting to sound like like. This, is this an indecent proposal, Sean? <laughs> I'm going to tell you. God, I don't know how to say this, but no. let me just tell you what I want. Um, I, I want to figure <laughs> out where the room in the game is that I can say Plover and teleport to the Plover room. Because thus far, we have determined that there is a room that you may enter with nothing on your person. You have to have an empty inventory. And when you enter into that room you can see inside of the plover room but you can't see into the dark room so what we are trying to do is figure out how to get back in here well when you are in the plover room and you play the plover sound it teleports you somewhere and so our current working theory is that if we can find where somewhere is and then tell and say plover there that it should teleport us here so we just need to know where the other end is now the way that I would do this in my free time is go to every fucking room and make the plover noise. So let's just assume that I'm about to do that. And I'm wondering if, in fact, there is some clue would it, that the game yeah, can, can provide Can you us. tell us what would be the outcome of that experiment yeah. if we were to execute it as, as written? Yeah, and as many of you know, Ghost Stalker won a election last, mostly he walking, did. and is the president. Yes. Ghost, Ghost, Ghost Stalker says, alrighty, this will take a bit of time. Surely less time than us going to every single room and blowing the whistle. Okay, so, 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 so. What I am going to yo, do... Yo, so, so. Yo, yo, so, so. <laughs> Um, what was I going to do? Crossover Junction. Oh, no, that's what this thing is called. Um, so, I am curious about going to the troll. Curious about that, and I think in the Swiss cheese room. Oh, let me, let me just go to where the... The guy is. 
Where is the stupid... What am I looking for? Here it is. Troll room. So, oh, let's it's see. the map labeled troll. From giant. Blocked, no access. Ah, I remember where this thing is. Some Nambulus Rex says, bet you wish you had Roberta Williams here now telling you how to play the game. <laughs> it seems I do. Oh, man. Listen, Mods, if Roberta Williams shows up again, she can do whatever she wants. She is... She is... <laughs> She's been given carte blanche. She's on continental grounds when she's here, man. Um, <laughs> it's two. Yeah, that's where the bear in room is. This is the bear in room. Chamber of Boulders. I, I really feel like this is something. But anyways, let's see if we can get to bed quilt. Bed quilt is... So we're in the Hall of the Mountain King. Is this the fastest way to bed quilt? Good lord. All right. Where's the Hall of the Mountain King? You know, let's do this. Let's hit Dead this batteries. Button. Dead batteries. So the two mazes are in the Halls of the Mountain King. Ah, so this goes to the Secret Canyon. All right, so we will. Do we need we need to <clears throat> charge the batteries somehow? <laughs> or am I like, in, in 1979, was that even a thing that you would think about, like, charging batteries? I mean, I assume as much, like... Okay. Charging batteries was, like, a fundamental thing. I, I don't know what to do with the batteries. So, if any of you have, like, hints or thoughts or ideas, please keep them to yourself. So we can descend. Okay, so we're in the secret canyon right now. So this is down only. So we're trying to get here from Giant. So it's Secret Canyon. Secret Canyon just doesn't connect here. All right, whoops. But it's a Secret Canyon mm -hmm. to Bed Quilt. That's where we want to go, huh? Oh, no, wait, there's a guy here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to kill him. So this is this is too narrow, right? The canyon here too becomes narrow. too tight to go further south. <laughs> oh, the other thing. So I got a. I told you I got a bread maker for my birthday, <laughs> and made some bread. It was pretty awesome. Wolf's axe. I also got um. You uh, could miss him. The you um, could miss him. And then what would you do? What? That pickaxe looks what? wicked. Oh shit! Wait, it's not letting us. Obliterated. Well, he, he ran away. Huh. Huh. Uh, Nothing I also happens. got the uh, Jinji Ito book about spirals. Oh, Uzumaki. Which I read last oh. week. Instead of, so uh, instead of mostly walking. It's pretty good. Dude, pretty I really good. like that. Where is to the troll? Wait, because this says to bed quilt, and we're oh we're in the Swiss cheese room, so we need to go northeast to bed quilt. Hmm. Oh, I remember this room. Oh, it's the hangout room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soft room. The soft room. The sensory room. Yeah, Uzumaki is one of the greatest greatest graphic novel ever. Uzumaki, yeah. If you, if you want to be really fucked up, I would strongly recommend reading Romina. Romina is the other one that's on my on my list. <laughs> it is grisly. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Don't give up. Keep trying. So, Wait, okay, so there's a 10% chance that we get out, but do different exits lead to different places? No, I think the same exits lead to the same place, just that you can fail. Okay, so then have we tried all the exits? 
In that room, in bed quilt? In the, in the... Yeah. Okay. Ghost Rocker says, so let me get this straight. You got the plover word, and you assume that it teleports you to another space if used in a specific room. Is that correct? Yeah, let me be really precise. When you use the plover word in the plover room, it teleports you somewhere. You can't see it. It's pitch dark because to get to the plover room, you can't be holding your lantern. So our theory is if we go to wherever that dark room is with our lantern and it's bright, we can say the plover word and we'll get teleported from there back to the plover room. That is our working theory. So what I was going to do is I was going to use the plover word in every single room. Wait, what does that buy us, though, if we can get our lantern into well, the... Well, it, uh, it takes us back room. to the plover room with the lantern, and then there's a way to go out of the plover room into a dark area that we can't go to without a lantern. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. I thought that the place we teleported... I mean, the place we teleported to through the plover room is pitch black. Yeah. But you're saying that there's also a pitch black room adjacent to the plover room? Well, ev every room is pitch black. Almost every room is pitch black if you don't have a lantern. Yeah, like this room, if I... Brass, like, oh. you, it is now pitch dark. Yeah, I, I guess what I mean If you proceed, you will most like... likely fall into a pit. So we assume that, like, hey, maybe there's a place yeah, where I can yeah, yeah. use this. You hear the call of a plover. And it takes us to the plover room, and then there's a... Brass, the, the lantern is now yeah, lit. Yeah. So Ghost Star says, how, how to frame this? Because here's, here's what we were going to do. It... it Given that we were at our literal wit's end, as opposed to the location of the game wit's end, we were going to go to every single room and make the plover noise in every single room in the entire game and see if one of them teleports us. Or right. we are going to make our plover noise in every room and see if it teleports us to the plover room. Like you do. Like you do. Not You're in a long, you. winding corridor sloping out of sight in both directions. I can troll. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. It says, Stop! Oh, no. no one treads on my bridge without payment! Is that the same voice actor as the narrator? It says, oh, Stop! Hey, troll! Hey, troll. It just seems You're on like one you really side like... of a large, deep chasm went right into the voice. dead the batteries. Universe. That doesn't interest the troll. Dwarf's axe. Uh, here we go. No, we're going to throw gonna it. Gonna... Mm. Oh, yeah. Good workmanship, but not valuable enough. Yeet. Mm -mm -mm. Payment. Oh. Can we go into his house while he's out here? I think it's gonna say like it's a troll. Oh, house. we are you so fucked. What a nope. frightening oh sight. <laughs> a terrible place to fall. Ugh. All right. Well, let's do some QA on this bad boy. Ghosty says uh, that was a mighty confirm fall. that the plover room teleports you to the same room, <clears throat> and if used in that same oh, room. Dear. We'll teleport you back you again. Asked. Okay. So I guess the question is, if we if we tried it in every room that we currently have on the map, would it would it work in one of those rooms? Because yeah. if it would, then then we just want the name of that room. <laughs> but before <laughs> before you give us the name of that room, would that work? All right. Yeah. The, if it I'm... wouldn't work, then well, you then you saved us, us the name of a the lot room. of time. Zizzy. Clue. Zizzy. Clue. I'll be back. I'll be back. You feel a strange go pulling zizzy. sensation. I'm gonna go Zizzy my... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. I love that in elementary school, saying XYZ to someone well, for examine your zipper room. was an extraordinarily common thing to say. Oh, yeah. Examine your zipper. Bottom of Misty. Narf uh I did play Disco Elysium on the Switch last year sometime. 
Um, you and I think I got about two of thirds of the way through it, and then I hit a game-breaking bug uh, that I couldn't progress past, uh, which was a huge bummer because I was really enjoying the game. Uh, but I never finished it. That takes me to bed quilt. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Dude, the number of, like, great game playthroughs that, like, were ruined by a singular corruption. Oh, my God. Like... And that's a bummer. Uh, Ghostbusters, I mean, I have just a shortened solution piece for that specific solution, so it might, but I don't think you currently understand the full problem it encompasses. Shh. Shit. <laughs> I hate it when I don't understand the full problem it encompasses. Shoot shit. So here's here's what I'm doing right now. I I am getting some contraband here. It's not contraband. Would you it's like hard room earned name? loot? Um, w w okay, so, so, there's, I, I would like a hint. How about that? How about that? How about that? You have great hint judgment. That's true. President Ghosty does have great hint ju judgment. So we're here. There's a rope you missed in one of the previous rooms. What? How topical? God damn it! How topical? <laughs> so we are here now. So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing a little bit of research. I'm doing a little bit of research to discover what's on the other side of the troll room. Because, I mean, I'll be honest, I was going to go to every single thing that I could. Oh, shit, right. yeah, did yeah, I go yeah. the wrong way? I did. I did I did go the wrong way. Uh, Try going the right way. It's too hard for me. I'm just going to double-check this Misty Cavern, because I wandered through a number of places a little too quickly. Before... Autumn Cheese Waller, stuck. Can you summarize the plot of this game since I just got here? Okay, so this is a 2022, or is it 2023? It's it's a very recent remake. Of yeah, a game. I think it's 2023. This was originally a the considered the first adventure game. 1976 text only adventure game. There's nothing to do with it here. And so this should go to the Zonk. I assume you mean Zork. Uh, this predated Zork. Yes. <clears throat> um. Southwest. Wasn't it the first video game not counting arcade games? I'm, ooh, I don't. I don't know how... Hmm. It's generally considered the first adventure game. Yeah. Because the game was called Colossal Cave Adventure, or for short, it was called Adventure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the troll steps up. So I'm going to give... Um, emerald. Yeah. I'm going to give this guy the emerald. No one treads on my bridge without payment. Because I want to... I want to see if there's... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was okay. a mighty fall. That was a mighty fall. Okay, that's okay. Uh, oh dear, you seem to have been ousted from your adventure. All right, so let me load. Um, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go across this bridge again, look on the other side, and see what I is can see. Is there even a reason to cross the bridge? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we want this bear. Where am I? So I go west, and then I go down, and then I go west. Is there... And now you got me thinking about the bear. Yeah. I'm the, trying to figure the, out... The bear in room. Like... Because he, he has he has the golden chain on him, so I assume that we needed the keys. Which yeah, I have that no idea seems good. Golden chain seems good. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. See, we just go through the same passage multiple times, and eventually it, it deposits us. So yeah, so Autumn, this the, what makes this game? What in the fuck? Why am I here? What? Why is this here? Why am I here? Oh yeah, there's this dude. You see a little dwarf sitting here knitting. You're in a you're at the junction of three Wait, secret canyons. Three secret canyons? That's so many secret canyons. Secret canyons all the fuck over the place. So I'm facing south right now, so that goes across this way. And here's the other the other side of the mirror room. That won't work here. I don't think I see anything interactable here. Here's the other half of the mirror. <laughs> so what I was trying to do is I was trying to go over to the bear in room. Wait a minute, I don't think we've gone down this. Go down this. See, th there's this one here. This goes to bed quilt. But if I go over this way, there's this rope down. That goes into Oh, we lost a Lee. Spiral? Oh, we, we lost Lee. All right, Lee is, Lee is getting discorded. Dot, 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 Lee. Oh, that's right. Oh, fucking kill me. All right, great. I'm just going to load the game. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so I am trying to get to the troll to test giving different objects. Because I think that the troll will, will request payment. But we need to give him payment with one of the non-treasures. But he doesn't, he doesn't take the non-treasures. He says they're not valuable enough. But like he said that the ax had good craftsmanship. So I'm hoping that maybe we can find some other garbage. Like we give him like a pillow or some shit. Clue. Where am I? And then we go west. And then we go through the northern room. You've crawled around in some little holes and- I'm pretty sure this is right. Cause up is to the junction. Wound up back in the main passage. This troll, I've done this before. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up. You've crawled around in some little holes. You've crawled around in some little holes this, and wound up north? back in the main. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Don't give up. Keep trying. There we go. Now it loads. Oh, uh, have we? Have we gained a lee. Uh, I don't. Hello. Oh, there, there she we goes. Go. Use plover. You hear the call of a plover. Fascinating. There's no use for that here. Okay. So, southwest, 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 southwest. Here we go. Okay. The plovarian. Yes, we we know where we are on the map. The troll as we steps travel. out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. Yeah, do you know where you are on the map as you travel? Yeah, yeah. Now, if you ask me any question about where anything is at any point in time ever, I have the answer to everything Exiled because I'm an expert at the game. It's no one treads on my bridge without payment. 
Can we get can we get that guy's audio turned down in Discord? Uh, let me save the game, and I'm gonna save it here. All right. Oh, that's just cruel. Yeah. I have a feeling that wasn't in the text adventure game. It is an our adventure game. Some of these solid looking objects are not solid. So now we're on the northeast side. Okay. Okay. You're on the far side of the chasm. It's a tire. Northeast path that, leads away from the chasm on this side. Troll chasm, troll chasm. So I'm gonna go into here. Found a little, little hole. Because there's already, so if you were to teleport from a known room, you'd know how to find the location of the other room, right? Um, so there's a couple pairs of teleporting. There's the Plu teleport. There's the Zizix teleport. We're specifically looking for the Plover teleport. And the Plover teleport is the one where we can teleport out of the Plover room into some other place. But, but it's, it's dark. dark when we do it, so we can't tell where we are on the map. Wait a minute. Drop Wait. something in the darkness. Wait a minute. We can't carry anything. Ah. We tried this. Wait. Okay. We wait. I have an I No, that's the dumbest idea I've ever said. I was gonna say, what if we dropped all of our stuff, like everything, and then it was pitch black, and then we used plover. Well, then we'd get to the plover and we wouldn't have any of our shit. We couldn't pick it up anymore because we can't see anything. Okay, <laughs> so let me... I... Can you, read the map? can you read the map in the pitch dark? And can you see no. the items on the map in the pitch dark? No? Okay. No, I think... I think I'm looking up. Here it is. I'm, I'm calling. I think that they fixed the issue. You're calling? Oh, 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 sweet. Yes. Do you have the money for that? Hint line. If you'd like technical, if you're just getting started, press 1. If you're in the forest, press 2. If you're in the cave, press 3. Congratulations on making it into the cave. If it is too dark to see or you keep falling into a pit, press 1. If you can't catch the bird, press 2. If the bird seems fearful of you and just flies around, press 3. If you're deeper in the cave, press 4. If you need help with the dwarves, press 1. If you aren't sure what to do with the magic words, press 2. If you don't know what to do with treasure, press 3. For more hints, press 4. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I don't know what to do with the magic words. Sure. After acquiring a magic word, try saying it in the location where you obtained it. You'll be amazed at what happens. Then say it again to return to your location. To start over, press 1. Otherwise, goodbye. <laughs> Okay. Hello. You've reached the All right, now. Okay, so that was two, like two high-level hint. Technical support yeah. is given on our Discord channel. Oh, shit. I accidentally hung up. Fuck. Sorry. I hit the wrong thing and then tried to go back and hung up. Okay. Great. If you're just getting started, press 1. If you're in the forest, press 2. Congratulations on making it in. If you need help with the dwarves, press 1. If you want so it's 4 again. Try to analyze what mistakes you're doing to get ousted from the game so often. Try to have <laughs> tactics. Save your game often. To start over, get good. press 1. Wait, what? I, 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 maybe yeah. that's You've reached the Colossal Cave hint line. If you need a game hint, press 1. If you'd like... If you're just getting started, press 1. If, I you're lose, forest, if you're losing, two. you might be if awful. The cave, congratulations on making it into the cave. If it is too dark to see or you keep falling... So, it should be four. Press one. If you need help with the dwarves, press one. No. If you aren't sure what to do with the magic words, press two. We already did that. If you don't know what to do with treasure, press three. For more hints, press four. Abandon the vessel immediately. The you're doing to get ousted from the game so often. Try different tactics. Save your game often to start over. That's it. That's it. It's just like th there. Th I thought that it was going to be this elaborate hint line, and it's like three hints, and then it's get good scrub. All right. Well. <laughs> yep. Yep. 
All right, so. Well. <laughs> oh, right, this is. It appears someone has been cooking over this small volcanic hotspot. Let him cook. Okay. Is it, can you take, can you take the, the hot Blue. pot? And is that. You hear the right call here. of a plover. Let me try the plover then. Nothing happens. So, Ghosty says, so the name of the location is two characters. That's the best I can do. It, it's the Y2 room. Y2. But that's, that's the plover. Didn't we, we try the plover there? Yeah, we, we, we already tried that. Fuck. Try it again. Oh, Jesus. Try it okay. again. Wait, are you serious? Okay. Ghosty, if you're fucking with us, that's hilarious. You're in a small chamber filled with know. large bowls. So, so the you want us to use the plover in Y2? To be stifling from you want to say, use the plover the word in Y2? The crawl heading west, from which a low rumbling noise can be heard. Is that... Somebody said a low a rumbling is from the southwest. Whoa! I almost walked off the edge. Okay, I'll stop. I was just noticing that it's really silly to make like a gasping sound and only just move your mouth, like open a tiny bit. That's what I. That's the kind of thing I do to entertain myself wait, wait, wait. day in and day out. Do you do you hear this? Totally. Wait, wait, wait. Where was that noise coming from? You heard the. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you it see just a sounds breathtaking like view. Having a house party. Far below lies an active volcano from which gobs of molten lava surge and cascade to the depths. Gobs. The glowing rock bathes the cavern with a blood red glare, feigning a macabre appearance. The air is dense with sparks of ash, the smell of brimstone, and walls too hot to touch. The thundering volcano is so deafening it drowns out all sounds. Embedded in the jagged roof far overhead, twisted formations of white alabaster scatter the murky light to become sinister apparitions upon the walls. Jeez. On one side, you see a deep gorge encasing tortured ah, rock geez. that seems to be crafted by the devil himself. To your left. That is a gentle cave the bear sitting in the corner. The chain is locked to the bear. The chain is locked to the dwarf's axe. There's nothing to do with it. that. Is useless right now. Well, okay. the does the does the trident magically open dwarf's axe locks as well? There's no need for that. There's no need for that. The bear is still attached to the chain. The chain is locked to the bear. All right. I, I, I was able to get some points for touching it, so we know it's something valuable. But here's the thing. Um, we need to reload back. Um, where is it? Uh, in Dirty Broken P is the name of this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's Dirty Broken Pit, I assume. Okay, so, so we're going to go to Y2 now. Let's go to Y2. So I should go up here. I think I've managed my why, saves why correctly. Right? I don't believe this. You could also have gone back to the debris room and then teleported to the well house and teleported to Y2, but... He's too good. So that should be this. Yeah. No, it should be, I guess, over here. Oh. So, okay, so we were here. And, oh. So. You hear the call of a plover. You what the fuck? What? We did this. Sensation. We literally did this. Hmm. What the fuck? What the fuck? Was there something we did to change state? You're in the plover so room. Now it works, and then it did not. Holy it shit. Did, it dropped the emerald. Well, like, we didn't have the emerald on us. Well, it dropped an emerald. Congratulations on bringing the light. What does that say on the wall? There is a platinum pyramid here. 
fuck, you got It says, congratulations on bringing light into the dark room. Okay, great, we done did it. Well, Jesus. What the fuck? Zizzy. Solved a side quest. You hear the call of a plover. What do you think that pyramid does, or do you think it's just treasure? You feel a strange pulling sensation. Okay, because I I literally did it in this room. I think that there might be like a positional error. Didn't we, You're why? back in the Y2 room. What's this? Egg-sized emerald. We got it back from the troll. Wait, no, we, we, sa we loaded a save. Did we have it? Do the do the fucking plover Egg -sized again. Egg-sized emerald. Oh wait, because we re we reloaded a you save. You hear the call of a plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh. I think we had it. I think I think we had the emerald. It just doesn't come with us. You're in the plover room. Wait up. So if I. You hear the call of a plover. So if I'm not holding the emerald, maybe that's what the... You feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh my god. We w I think we might have needed to be holding it. We're back in the Y2 room. Because now, let me... Let me go over here. Large gold nugget. Wait, but the Y2 room You hear the call blue. of a plover. You feel a strange well, pulling sensation. Why does works? I don't understand. <clears throat> I literally thought we did it in this room. I did You're in the too. plover room. I mean, is it possible that we didn't because that's also the plu room? And we were like, well, it couldn't possibly be both rooms. You hear the call of a plover. Plu and plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Yeah, that's weird. Like, what do these magic words have and have to do with each other? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Okay, so you're back in the Y two room. What the hell? Okay, so if we look at the whole video game, then. Okay. Entire entire video game. Let's go. Wonder what I dropped there. The magazine. But it says plus three. Oh, oh, the magazine and some other stuff. So I'm I sure it's not just a plus three magazine. Oh, and I. Uh, so let me do this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to. We're gonna do another research. So we're gonna go to bed, bed quilt. There's nothing to do with it here. There's nothing to do with the ladder here. Okay, so. Ghost Talker, thank you. Also, what the fuck? Yeah, um, yep. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> so, we're gonna go west, we're gonna go down. So, okay, so now now I feel like most of the game is done. I'm feeling like we're mostly there. But the sort of last remaining question is, how do we go through this without losing stuff to the troll? And what do I want to do? I want to go to... What's the name of this? The Orient Room. So this goes to Two Pit. So we want to try to go to Two Pit... Which is to the west. Okay. Orient is northwest. Maybe I went to the north. I just strafe while looking northwest. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. <laughs> All right, we do it. <laughs> Okay. So 
So we have this blasted vase. There is a recent issue of Spelunker Today magazine here. Sorry, you'll need to drop something before you can carry anything more. Oh. There are some keys. We do. Oh, we got the key. Platinum dead batteries. So does this? It's a cushion. It's a pillow. So, so let me. What I'm going to do is I'm actually Platinum going to. Pyramid. I'm going to drop Dwarf's the axe. axe. I'm going to pick up this. I'm sure we will need the batteries. What is this fucking thing doing here? I don't know. It keeps, <laughs> keeps going places. Set of keys. <clears throat> Spelunker today. So. I don't remember what we gave to the troll in the first place. I have no the memory. The first, first time? Yeah. I don't know. Do we have the gold bars? Gave him the gold bars. Gave him the gold bars. Gave him gold bars. Bars. So now I need to... South now, because now now I'm trying to get back to Y two, so that way I can send right. all the shit back. You've crawled around it's some. You've crawled around so, it's a little holes. I mean, big, big question is like, yeah, can we? Because it, because it, there's, the troll room connects both ways. Do we ever need to cross that bridge, or can we? Can we always get to wherever we want to go from one way or the other? Or is there stuff on the other side of the bridge that we can't get to without crossing the bridge? Oh, I fucked up really bad. Um, there is stuff on the other side that we cannot get to. Okay. So we actually do need to figure out how to get across the bridge. So this, 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 I actually, I think is the last thing. I think that's the last puzzle. This is, this is the last true puzzle. Before we can start the whole game over again, save frequently, yeah. kill dwarfs, and I think that we can, I think that we can like blast through it quite quickly. I think, I claim, I assert. I want to see if this connects to any other, because it's really this is the way to bed quilt. Oh, this goes to Secret Canyon. Wait, where's Secret Canyon? <clears throat> We're definitely going to speed run this. <coughs> is this is this all three secret canyons? Or? Oh shit, I see. There's to the Hall of the Mountain King, so we actually need to Where are we? We're in the bed quilt room. South is to Secret Canyon. All right, so this is where we go. Jeez, this is so I still am struggling with my orientation in this. So then we actually want to go to the Hall of the Mountain King. So we're going to go wiggly windy up. Dude, it's so weird that there's like caves out there. They just have like some rope nailed into a wall. Like 50 years ago and that's just where it is. Yeah. Yeah, caves are kind of fucked up, honestly. Yeah. Here's the dragon that you punch. With what? Your bare hands? Yes. Okay, so this is where I need to just carefully... Okay, so I think that now I'll be in the Hall of the Mountain King. So then I'm going to... Oh my god, we're actually getting there. No, that's not We're actually it. gonna plue. We're gonna plue. We're going to Plu. Okay. Plu. 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 You feel a strange pulling sensation. Plough. That's the Plu. So, we need to find something that we can give to the troll. You're back in the well house. Okay, so... That will, like, poison him. Egg-sized emerald. <laughs> Oops. Velvet pillow. So you do I mean, do we want to... Wait... Do we want to keep something to give to the troll so that we can get back there Large and see what happens nugget. when we unlock the 
Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the... Um... Oh, yeah, so we need the Ming Voss to go on top of that. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spelunka today. Burp, burp. Clue. 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 Oh, yeah, you feel a strange pulling sensation. This is, this is this is dramatic and intense. So so this is this is the research run because now what we're trying to do is we're trying to find. You're back in the Y two room. Oh, maybe do we need to give him the fucking bird cage? Oh my god. What do you think? Take today. The bird cage? Here, here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so when we go to the Why maze, different. In this, I'm pretty sure that, like, these three are treasure. Uh, I don't think that the bird cage is. So I'm trying to... it holds a bird. I'm trying to identify objects that we could potentially give to the troll that are not our final treasure so we can get across and unlock the bear. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. I just... All I'm saying is that the clues that the game has given us are that the the troll differentiates between treasure and non-treasure. And it hasn't given us any other clues. But it has given us other clues. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, I mean, we could try giving him all of the things okay. and see what he I have the water. Takes. That's true. Otherwise, so, I mean, so so do the treasures have different values? Yeah. So then, is it possible to get all the treasures, or do you have to give up the one of least value? I, th I have no fucking clue. I it mean, I it would be wild. It would be wild <laughs> if. There was a, a max number of points that you could score, and there are some things that you can score points for that are you, are wrong. I mean, like I those would, are bad points. That's what I would do. <laughs> that's what I. That does sound, I would, that I would does sound that like something you would do. I would think, uh, Jesus hey, Christ, I'm, I'm real smart with this one today here. I would think of that as like like okay. groundbreaking. Okay, so we're now going to go west and north into the narrow passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back. No, fuck me. Come on. So we can get into the secret canyon every once in a while. We still Is that right? Is it is it it's like a probability. You've crawled thing. around oh, in some man. little holes and wound up back. There we go. Okay, so now we are. What the fuck? I think I'm doing this right. Okay, so here, if you go north, it goes to the troll, and it also goes to the junction. You can see that it has both of them in the north. So there's some Old probability junction. that if you just keep going north, you've crawled around in some little holes and you've crawled around in some little hole. 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 Holy shit, you've crawled you around are kidding me. Holes and wound up there we go. <laughs> Don't be blue. Random numbers, man. There it is. Game designers never use random numbers, okay? Never. Don't ever Why? do it. Don't never, ever? not once. Never. 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 Only pseudo random. Clue. There he is. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge. Spelunker today. Use. That won't work here. That is useless right now. Oh my god. Set of keys. No one! X large gold nugget. Alright. <laughs> I mean... Does my dude even get, like... 
Oh, I guess there's dwarves down here. It was. Oh, you know what? Like maybe these caves are 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 one of those artificially sort of barren air places, kind of like in Nancy Drew, where like all of Tokyo is completely free of. People. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Like maybe this it was troll... a quiet afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe this troll actually does make a living. Set of keys. Where's the bear guy? Oh my god, we've discovered all 15 treasures. The treasure. That is a friendly bear wand that is a friendly bear wandering about nearby. The bear listen, the bear was 15 feet away from where he wanted to be. But he really wanted to be in that spot 15 feet away. Whoa! Jesus I mean... Christ, scared the <laughs> shit out of me, man. He's so... a scary bear. He is a hairy bear. Let's make a hasty. A friendly bear is closer. following you. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Wait, he's following. Maybe he can kill the troll. What the fuck? Can he kill the troll and then we can get our treasure back? Oh shit. <coughs> <clears throat> oh my God. You, you, you coming? Coming? All right. Yeah, how many I, points the is, troll how many steps points out from beneath worth? the bridge and blocks your way. Bear versus oh, come troll. On. Whoever wins, we lose. Oh, yes. <laughs> huh. I feel like I one-shotted that puzzle. Nothing happens. Okay, so he didn't... He didn't drop a treasure. The bear appears confused by your presence. Perhaps you should let the bear go. I mean, I, we're not... What? No. Oh, shit! Whoa! That was a mighty fall. Uh, allow the bear to walk on the bridge. Bear's oh, not allowed to walk on the bridge, okay? You seem to have been ousted the, from your uh, adventure. I don't know how I to really prevent the bear from... I mean... Out of orange smoke. <laughs> you don't expect me to do a decent resurrection without orange smoke, do you? Yeah. That's kind of a fascinating question. Okay, if you're question. so yeah. smart, do it yourself. I'm Lee. Huh. Okay, so like... Ah, Interesting. I mean, on the plus side, I took apart my alarm clock watch. Okay, that oh, is a yeah. plus. I need it for tomorrow, and it stopped working. What could we... Any... What? How do you stop a bear? How do you stop a bear? How do you stop from, a bear? From scare him with, like, an air horn or something? Like a bear horn, air horn? Okay, but we, we, there's a, we have an earlier problem. Yeah. Sequentially. Yeah. What's the earlier problem? We have to get past the troll without giving up any of our treasure. Can you can you get to the bear before the troll? No, the so, bear's on the other side of the troll. I, I'm I'm going to I'm gonna make a claim. I think that we know our way around well enough. I think we should make a new game. The maze different and the maze right. alike are the only really time consuming things. Well, and I have I got a walkthrough for the maze different. Yeah, here here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a new game. We're gonna start overriding shit. And also, I gotta go over here because someone's messaging me on Steam, and I need to tell them to go away. Hey, Sean, do you want to play some Dota? Oh, just... <laughs> hey, Sean. Yeah. Sean's. Yeah. You know what I think? You know what I think the bear's name is? Hmm. What? Winnie the Blue. Oh my god, these jokes write themselves. It's so good. So, would you like instructions? No. We're going to use map one, and we're not going to override it. So we already start with 32 points, probably so we can't go negative. Alright, are you ready? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Do we get points like for this. listening to... Roberta Williams. There is a bottle of water here. I assume oh, no. I play the game. 
Holy shit, I didn't see these. Yeah, did it have those controls before? I think those are new. That's fucking rad. Oops. Right, I love it. Stay there, Roberta. We'll be back. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so literally New Game Plus is the way forward. I don't know how to leave the bear behind. No, Set of I also don't know the right way to get to the bear. What'd you say? We also don't know the right way to get to the bear. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can, because I gave them some stuff. You're in Ow. a small chamber beneath a 3x3 three three steel grate to the surface. A low crawl of a cobbles leads inwards to the west. Uno momento, hold on. Uh, one of my contacts folded and then fell out. Stay, 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 stay. What? Well, uh, Sean? Ah, fuck. Sean was destroyed by contacts. This thing is, uh... What is? Are you are you still pulling okay, apart sorry. your alarm I, uh, watch? Pray for me. Pray. Okay. Oh, I okay, might okay, have okay, fucking okay, fixed okay. it. I, this is how Doctor Manhattan got started. I'm just saying. With a cool fire super vibrator. Brass la the lantern is now lit. And it's so dead. <laughs> I am running as fast as I can. <laughs> it's 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 done. I think it's done. Okay. It's gone. Okay. If we... blank. <laughs> I mean, all I did was take it apart and put it back. I uh, so if I could disconnect I, the battery, I'm I want to double to check you've, you've, that there was I'm, not a, uh, a bird cage. Relieved in that you're not becoming Doctor Manhattan. I mean, I don't know. I guess I just need to count on my. Make so sure you phone to wake look at the wrong. Zizzy. Great call. I think that's important. It says Zizzy. So here's here's question number one. I'm gonna take the rock. Yeah, the yeah take the rock because that then you, that's how you right get the bird, right? Question number one. Well, I'm gonna yeah, the bird the will fly away, but here's an important question to test right away. Black rod. Black. We're gonna Zizzy. say Zizzy, Zizzy, and we're gonna drop the rod off. Because if the you rod is strange. useless, all right. See if it's treasure. Off. See if it's treasure or not. Okay. Oh Spare the my rod, God. spoil the Zizzy. 855, stay in line. You're back in the well house. All right. Black so, rod. Here's the problem. Black rod. Oh, no, the black, black rod. rod is not useful. I black sleep with earplugs wick, in, right? Grass I mean, it is useful. It's just Take not. Set of, set of keys. I lost Zizzy. my Zizzy. Apple watch. Okay, it notably, I guess there's 15 sensation. treasures. Yeah. And we get points for touching them. We haven't gotten points for anything that we've touched so far. Yeah. Yeah. So. You find yourself in the debris room. And we do need those batteries. Uh, I don't know why, but we do need them. Yeah, it does seem like. So there should be a bird here. It tastes so buttery. Wicker K. Pretty bird you bird. have captured the bird. All right, let me. We didn't get any points for that. Well, we did get up. Aww. So it should have been dropped somewhere over. There it is. You are in a debris-filled room with stuff. Where the hell is it? Pushed in from the surface. A low, wide passage with cobbles becomes plugged with mud and debris here. But an awkward canyon leads up to the west. Where in the hell did, did it just go back? Where's what? What are you talking about? I dropped the the rod. You can see it like right there. Uh, New game. Yeah, you dropped it. New game. Restart. New game. There it is. Right there. All right. So we found the rod. All right. So first things first, we're gonna go here. We're gonna save it. Perfect. So now we're in the hall of the mountain king. All right. Am I, did my shit unfocus? At your feet is a small pit. 
Save game, this one right here. Save number one. Save numero uno. So you need to walk up here, scare this guy, and get his axe. I'm unarmed. He exploded. You you could never pull it out, no matter how hard you try. Uh oh. Wh where's where's the axe then? How can anybody know that? Was that wait? I mean, is it because you have no inventory room? Uh, that wasn't an axe. That was just a uh, a hammer. A little dwarf. Watch out. Oh, there's that's where we, where we get it. What if we what if we literally just got like murdered by that guy? And just Is that one? I don't Oh, I guess there is an axe there. There it is. Okay. Hell yeah. Alright. If so. you say so. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run this if you're way. Zozo. Zozo. So we're gonna we're gonna get jump scared. There it is. Little bird in a cage. I'm proud Perfect. Of We're not succumbing to that jump scare. The little bird attacks the green snake, and in an astounding flurry, drives the snake away. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, so now we're getting we're getting demonetized from that. That's great. Yeah. Okay. This. Okay. Watch is is done. It's dead. So we go north. So we don't have any more space. We could go. I mean, Sorry. we could go. You need to drop something before you oh, can carry anything more. Oh you no, we don't. Plue. Yeah, plue. plue. Yeah, plue. Look at this. Plue. You feel a strange. Fuck yes, sensation. plue. Plue. We plue it. We did it. Yeah. Fuck. It's plue o'clock, baby. Oh my god. And now what we can do is we can deposit some of our goods. You're back in the well house. Plue the good. Large gold so nuggets. This is ten. Precious jewelry. This is ten. Holy shit, what a rush. Bottle of water. I don't know what the bottle of water is for, but... Plu. We what use plu? it to water the plants. You feel a strange... Right, we have to sensation. make that vine grow? That's, that's the answer. That's the answer. Boots and cats, boots and cats, boots and cats. Boots and boots and boots and, boots and, boots and cats. And boots and boots and cats. You're back in the Y2 room. Alright, so... Y2. Why not? We're in the Y not room. Okay, so we We're have some We're in the Y not room, bro. Treasure. Hey, it's Y2 somewhere, am I right? Alright, so... Well... We've, we've procured some treasure. Watch. Alright, so I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and save one Done. more time. Because we need to make sure that if a dwarf 10%s us... That's right. There is always that, that concern. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Oh my god, dude. You know what's so crazy? We we're about to close out, and we have almost as much points as we ended our full run with last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because we're back like, in the uh, well house. We uh, e Bars of silver. <laughs> Rare bars coins. Of silver, bars of gold. So how much was this? This was ten. Bars of silver. Okay. Oh, thank God. The most devious bastard right. in the underground kingdom. I'm saving. Okay. This will be the <clears throat> first time in my entire life ever that I'm actually going for max points in an adventure game. Oh, yeah, that's wild. That is wild. It's a mostly walking first. That is yeah. wild. And, like, I actually don't know how you can win the game without getting 350. R right. Well, wait, Dice right, they you said got, quitting. You got the 15. Wait. Wait, you found quit, the 15 things. Quitting loses points? No, 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 but wait, hold on. Uninstalling Look. loses points. They did say quitting loses points, but that so, can't be true, right? I think quitting is main menu. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think you, you can say, you can load your game. Yeah. 
I think. You're allowed. So yeah. This is the game. <sighs> Load. So with that, this might be the very first time ever that we hundred we we hundred percent the video game. Ugh. Oh. Did, we should do a sequel. We should do a sequel to Mostly <clears throat> Walking, where it's just just hundred percent in games. Shitty games. Oh my god. I mean, god. this is a good yeah. game, but I mean shitty games. Yeah, no, we we need to find yeah. like one of the lowest rated games on Steam and unlock all the achievements on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What would it be called? <clears throat> Overachievers. Uh, what would that oh, be called? That would be that would be the mid. That would be the like incredibly mid podcast title for that show. What? Welcome to uh, welcome <clears throat> to over. Come come come, come listen to Overachievers every week where we play games and we get the achievements. Dude, it's yeah, like, like oh, there's so many bad podcasts and they're all called things like. Yeah, they're just ugh. Like, like, I love me some D&D podcasts, but I did hear someone drag them by saying that it's always just, like, a dice pun as the name. Yeah, yeah. There no. are there are a lot of dice puns. <laughs> yeah, <Ugh>. like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, the problem is that some of the, some of the oldest ones, like, some of the very first ones, like, the first stream of D&D that I am aware of is when J.P. McDaniel did a role play. R O L L P L A Y. And that was like Man. the very first popular. That's like back when they, stream, yeah, yeah, that's like back when they called video games helicopter because there was one game about a helicopter. That's right. Yeah, or, or how this game was called Adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. General T is trying to realize that whatever pun he was about to say is a real podcast somewhere. Exactly. Like that was the problem. It was like, uh, what's something like it, it needs to be something that's so stupid. Like, well, comma, I rolled a two and a six. How much damage is that? And that's the name of the podcast. Like, yeah, that's the name of the podcast. <laughs> how much? How <laughs> much damage is that? Is like a re- actually really good name for like a that's like a really good bad name for like a D and D podcast. How much damage is that? Yeah, okay. it's not even roll damage. Is like how much damage is that? Yeah, I mean, the, like, if for a D and D podcast, how much damage is that? Is the you have that number? That's not a question. Wait a minute. I just thought of the best name for a D&D podcast. Mm. It's called Two Hit Armor Class Zero. If you know, you know. I don't know. So I don't Are know. Are you familiar? Are you all familiar I mean, with I, I'm, I'm familiar with Thacko. What's Thacko? Yeah, because what's, what's cool is... Okay. Okay. So this also gets back to like before the... Like before the tropes kind of existed. Um... You know, they had like, they had like armor class, and then they had like instead of it, it used to be. Now it's like roll a d twenty, add your attack bonus, and see if it's better than their armor. Back yeah. in the day, like armor class was descending. When and then you roll, and then clearly uh, we need to know what the number is that uh, this 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 character, this player, if they roll this on the die, then we know that that's what they would need to hit an armor class zero. So. Um, so like fighters had a good thaco because like they'd have to only roll like it's like oh you're a certain level so that means your thaco is 15. so to hit something with armor class zero you have to roll a 15 or higher and then armor class was like golf rules so like if your armor class was like six oh 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 when you say to hit armor class zero it's not t-w-o to hit armor class zero correct that's what has been right that's has that is the key insight I needed to make this completely incomprehensible story <laughs> comprehensible. And now, yeah, yeah, that's your Kaiser Soze. And so, like, but here's here's why it's such a good name for a podcast. Because to hit Armor Class Zero is the name of the podcast, and then everyone just refers to it by the acronym, which is that. Thago. Well, so it's, got a, is it's got a good nickname is why it's a good name? Well, it's like... It's it's a, it's because you're naming it, you're naming it, you're naming it like a famously unwieldy uh, acronym. <laughs> okay. And that okay. Is what's so good about it? It's it's so okay. good because it's so but it's just so naughty. It's such a it's such a nasty. It's a, it's a naughty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's such a such a bad. Yeah, I I I 
we need to create a dictionary of needlessly complicated terms in in uh, I, I think, gaming and game dev. I think I think like proto like proto trope, you know, like before it got smoothed out. Game dev Pro, stuff, proto trope like, is pretty good. What, wait, what, what's proto trope? I thought that was a word that you just made up just now, Lee. I'm learning so much. It is. I was just thinking yeah. like, what was the like. The, the, what was the like um, um, developmental jelly that like later congealed into the things <clears throat> we have today? And like Thacko is definitely one of them, where it's like they hadn't yet invented the idea of just calling it combat bonus, <laughs> or whatever yeah. attack bonus. Dude, yeah, no, I um, I think my 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 recent favorite is proc. What is what proc? is that? Proc with, to like uh, when, oh oh when an attack like something procs. something that builds up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, so it's Proc. like if, um, let's say that if I take 100 damage, I explode. The event that causes that to occur, you would say, oh, yeah, it proc his explosion. Mm. Proc. What does it stand for? What does that mean? It stands it. for, it I, I, I went down this, and it's a little uh, ambiguous, but it stands for procedural event. <laughs> so you're talking about, you're talking about a cron job. Sean, <laughs> which is my favorite fucking Blade Runner, and it, like it was like okay when I first heard about cron jobs, I was like okay, so this presupposes that of course there must be other kinds of jobs where it's like so like so so like we're talking about like a whole range of these sort of like demons or demons or whatever the fuck that live in your computer, right? And like some yeah. are cron jobs, some are whatever. No, it's not. It's just um, things you could do with your computer: turn it on, turn it off, run an application, maybe run something in the background. Set a cron job. It's like a I mean, cron job. The whole the whole idea behind cron jobs is their their time, like they're they happen. They're scheduled. Right. Why yeah. does it sound like a slur? Like why does it sound like yeah. a robo slur? It's so good. It's a cron job, man. It's the best ever. Um. It's, oh my god. I just remembered yeah. something that I think is the perfect way to close out. Uh. Because I realized uh -huh. that we've gone over and uh, my focus is waning because I got up early and I went to the gym. So my entire body and brain is gelatin, uh, at least for the Incredible. first six months that I'm trying to get back in shape. Um, when I called my mom to talk to her about adventure, she told me that um, she spent so long at her college playing through Adventure on the Mainframe that when she finally beat the game, the guy there printed off the entire code for adventure, like the whole thing oh, on one cool. continuous sheet of paper that's like this thing. Damn. And she still oh, has the, yeah. it, and she said she'd send it to me. Holy shit. Which is fucking pretty sick, man. <laughs> that's insane. That's really cool. Yeah, because like for those of you who didn't know, I'm actually going to go to MS Paint here for a Wait, second. Can we, so can we... Can we hack the mainframe to figure out what we should feed the troll? So, so like, like modern, <laughs> modern paper. Yeah, no, right. So modern paper, you print a sheet of paper and then you just print another sheet of paper. This is not how paper used to be. Okay. No, no. The way that printers worked is it actually had, I'm going to try to draw it in three dimensions. You had a sheet of paper that was attached like a ribbon. So you'd actually have another sheet of paper attached like this. See, I'll even I'll even do the gray lines so that way you can see. Oops. So you can see through there. Yeah. This is we got some good technology. Oh, here. I so okay, it's perspective. I got it now. Yeah, so you, 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 you tell you'd, me you'd actually just have a ribbon speak. of paper like this. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it, like, had the, it had the little uh the delicious little things on the end. Green and green and white green, stripes, green, yeah, green, and yeah. then the green, perforated green, sides. Green. Yeah, oops, let me let me actually. You know, we're gonna we're gonna really do this to scale. This is gonna be really good. Yeah, but you'd have those oh, little shit. Okay. This is gonna be pretty sick. Yeah, there you go. So you'd have these little. By the way, your cat's meow just sounds like actually like a fake meow. I just want you to know that. Meow, meow, meow. Yeah, like that. Like, see, so so it's just this long ribbon. So my mother has a unbroken, like, over Incredible. one thousand page. Incredible. Shut the fuck up. This um, one thousand. Yeah. What one thousand? All right, I gotta go because I think I'm gonna fall asleep right now. Um, yeah, fuck it. It was sick. You guys are best. Fuck out of here. You. There it is. Uh, see you not next week because I'm out of town, but in the week after, yes. Okay. GG. Yes.